maybe we can jump and leapfrog also, Peter, now into talking about humanoid robots because, you know, when people say, okay, Jack, that's all well and fine for the kind of skilled work that you all are doing with physics and chemistry and breakthroughs and new medicines for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, but how about these distribution centers and warehouses? How about light assembly? What are we going to do there in terms of hours and so on and so forth? What I would say is, well, hold on to your seat, Peter, because big change is coming. People are underestimating, underestimating the impact of humanoid robots. It's moving very, very quickly. Amazon has got a pilot right now with three or four of the robot companies. We'll see announcements, I'm sure. I have no information from Amazon, but I'm sure we're going to see announcements in the next 18 months from yeah. Amazon. I actually know a lot about that. I just wrote a report called the Metatrend Report, um, and folks can get it at metatrendreport.com, uh, which is, I looked at uh, probably about 40 of the humanoid robot companies uh, and reported in more detail on 16 of them. And the predictions, right, there are billions of dollars flowing in, obviously Optimus 2 and Optimus 3 from Tesla. We've got figure AI with figure two and figure three coming online right now. We've got uh, Apollo. Uh, we've got Digit um, from Agility. These are robots that are working in industry today. Um, the numbers folks should realize are the following, right? These are you know two arms, two legs, 10 digit uh, robots able to do most all things. They're enabled by multimodal AI, meaning they can see and understand what they're seeing. They can have a conversation with you, understand what you're asking for, communicate back. And the price points, uh, these level of complexity, you can get to a price of typically dollars per kilogram of weight for a system of that complexity. And both, uh, both Elon um, and, and the CEO, Brett Adcock of Figure AI, predicts at 30K uh, for a robot that you could buy it at. Translation, that's, that's leasing it for 300 bucks a month, uh, which is 30, you know, 10 bucks a day, 40 cents an hour. Uh, what's it like if you have a minimum wage job at 20 bucks an hour and you're competing against a robot working 24 seven, no drug testing, no problems with their boyfriends or girlfriends? I think we're gonna start to see a lot of those, those jobs, um, you know, sort of transformed into some other job. <laughs> Yeah, look, I do think that we have to get ahead of this. Amazon has put together a billion dollar fund uh, uh, to get ahead of this proactively and say this is a retraining fund. They're going to start training the hundreds of thousands of people. I'll let them speak for themselves. But just as an observer, I'm impressed by the fact that they're taking a proactive stance. I'm sure Walmart will be doing that pretty soon. Walmart's got 2.5 million people in that company, of which 2 million are folks working in the warehouses and distribution centers, and we know where that's going. When we look at Zara and other companies who do fast fashion and have factories in just five spots on earth, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start seeing uh, basically new factories pop up in all kinds of places that didn't pencil out before, but now pencil out with humanoid robots. And guess what? Those plants, those factories will be very near the main street where they're gonna sell those goods, taking fast fashion from 10 weeks now down to maybe five days, right? Sure. That's going to be much faster fashion. I know people are very excited about that. 